Yo, welcome back to the Nick Gates Show. I'm gonna show you how to replace the door handle on your car. I got a 2011 Hyundai Sonata, and uh, it's about time. It's gonna need some work to it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let me show y'all this door. See that chrome is starting to peel off? That is not good. So, we're gonna take off the door panel here. We're gonna place that. Just got a piece on uh, the eBay, and we're gonna replace it. Be good to go. All right, y'all, two things you gotta do before you even attempt to take off this door panel. So come in here, we got two screws we've gotta take off. Come in here. So first one, on the inside, you gotta pull this door handle up, take your flathead screwdriver. So this is a, just like a little, a uh, little patch, I guess, if you will. So you can put your screwdriver underneath there and see that comes out. Boom, there we go. So we got that screwed right there. Get you a Phillips head. And right here, I want to show you inside the door. Look here, down inside here. There we go. I don't know if you can see it in there. Right at the end of my screwdriver, there's a like a like a latch in there, right? Or like a like a flap. You got to get your flathead screwdriver in there, and you got to pry that up somehow. So I'm gonna have to have one that's not so wide so I can get down in there. But there's a screw in there. So we gotta get a, um, I'm gonna get a smaller flathead, flip that up, undo that screw. Got a little bit smaller one here. Let's see if this is any good there, if I can get it up. Oh, there we go, I felt it come up. Bam! So probably gonna have to hold that open while I get in there with my left hand Probably a Phillips head screwdriver in there. All right, got my Phillips, or excuse me, flathead holding that flat back. I got a small Phillips in here. Kind of difficult to see. You're gonna need some good light in there. But got it. There we go. Should be able to get in there with your hand, y'all. There you go. That screw came out. Got it there. On to the next one. All right, this one, just open. You don't have to open your door handle, but Phillips head right there. Get some oomph on her. There we go. Screw number two. Now we're gonna take the panel off. Now y'all, you could probably use uh, just a butter knife you got at home to do this. I got like a little mini, little mini, mini pry bar here. First thing you wanna do is take off this box right here. Then we're gonna start down at the bottom, right hand side of this panel, go underneath there. Should be able to fill those clips and just put a little bit of pressure to take that off. But let's see if we can get this off here. See which way we need to go first. There we go, there's that. Well, there we go. Felt something come undone, that's good. There we go. Let's see if we can just take it off. Lift it up. There we go, Aha. just like that. All right, now we got this top part off. Now, I'm gonna go in kind of towards the bottom right-hand side of the mini pry bar. I'm gonna go up around the bottom and see if I can pry it open enough to get my hands underneath there. There's gonna be some clips, but you wanna be easy. You do not want to uh, break those. There we go, so I feel that just pop open, that's good. Let's go around to the bottom here. Boom. Slowly, here, give me an underneath shot there. Okay. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come, just follow around my gap here, and ever so often, just give it a little, just give it a little pry, just like that. I should. There we go, there we go. Just whenever you can get your pry bar in there, Okay, that seems to be good, just from the side view. Yeah, 
there. I want you to see how this is separating from the door here. And I believe we just have to lift up on this panel to get it off. Just like that. Now we got our panel separated from the door. A couple things we need to disconnect. Come here, I'll show you. There's gotta be a clip somewhere. Oh, I feel it, I feel it. Just gonna have to feel your way. And uh, there we go, there's one. See if I can feel it on this one too. You might need a helper, maybe somebody to hold it for you. There you go, I feel it there. Boom, just like that, see it. We might have to get the camera around here. You got some screws right here. There's four screws we need to take out. One, two, three, and there's one on this other side here. So one at a time, we're gonna take those out. And this panel is pretty lightweight, so you can hold it with your left hand. Uh-oh, don't lose your screws. <laughs> Actually, you may want to stop before you get all the way out and just do it by hand. That way you can hold on to them. Two more to go. If I can get that. This is a little tricky. You've got that wire in the way. Ooh, let's go to this one first. We'll save that one to last. go and so I got that off but I gotta get underneath there that wire which that wire didn't come off I guess so we're just gonna have to kind of push it out of the way so we can get in there and unscrew that there we go boom that off there okay we set this panel down all right y'all now that we got this unscrewed from our panel we have to get these wires out of here if you look there's a latch right there you're gonna pull this towards you with your finger I'll try to get in there so you can see it and then just pull down on this actually do it with your thumb pull down on that bam just like that all right, so you see, now these two levers are exposed, right? I got my new handle. These are gonna go face down. Take note of how you took them off there. We're gonna go in there, should, snap right back into place. Now we got a new handle. Now we just need to take those screws and put them back in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I got my new door handle on here, I'm gonna try to put this in place first. I'm trying to angle my, angle it in there, right? That's where it's supposed to go. I'm gonna start these screws by hand first. There we go, there's one. Got one started there. Get this one on this far side here. Might not be able to see that one. Okay, before I attempt the other two, I'm gonna get my screwdriver, I'm gonna tighten those up. So they are in place. I know it's not going anywhere. Okay, that's good and snug. That's snug. Let me get my other screws. All right. Now that I got the um, door handle in there, I got it held by those two screws on the right side. Now I'm going to attempt to get the two screws on the my left side here. There we go. There's one, and then we got that last tricky one there underneath there. Let me see if I can start this by hand. Being right behind that wire there. Or at least get that wire to hold it up there for me. Yay! There we go. So that wire actually held it up there for me. Let me screw that in. We're going to be good to go. Now let's reconnect all of our wires here. Uh, let me see. You can see I got me a bucket kind of help out putting my panel or sitting our door panel on while I hook all this stuff up. So let's connect this back first. 
uh, I have to get two. And there we go, got that with one hand. Flip that. We're gonna connect these back as well. See if I can get a good angle on this. I have to lift it up there. There's one. There's two. Bam. Okay. Let's now, if you recall, when we took this off, we had to lift up on it first. So let's see if we're able just to put that back. And I think so. I think that fits right in there. There we go. So that's snug in there. Then we'll just go around to all of our sides here and put these clips, gently push these back in. I'm gonna pull on my door this way and I'm gonna push this panel this way. See, right on the bottom. You hear those clips going in? Let's see if I can get these. Seems to be good there. I think all that is good. Nothing's wobbling, nothing's coming off. Sweet. So that is good. Let's put our uh, two screws back in here and back inside the uh, little pocket there. Then we'll put our uh, little patch panel right here. We should be good to go. Here. I'll put that back right in there. When that's tight, we'll go to the next screw that's in there. Now this one, uh oh. Now this one may be a little difficult. Try. Okay. I don't have a magnetic screwdrivers to hold my screw in there, but I'm gonna be very careful. Uh oh See if it'll go right in the hole. I believe it did. Yep, that's tightening up. It's got a good thread on it. Good. And I'm gonna take this flap, push it back down there. Good, that's clipped in there. Let's now take this part, put it in here. Remember, we've got a clip here, a couple of holes. These go into a couple of holes in there, so let's see what we can do. Uh, should just pop back in. Bam! There we go. Back up. And then lastly, we got this plate that goes back in here. I'll see if I can get it in there right. I think it goes just like this. See if that just pops in. Yep. Y'all, so that's our lock. It's good. It's not shipped. Looks like it's good. We're gonna get, I'm gonna get inside here. We're gonna give it a test run before we <laughs> start up and go down the road. Make sure we can get out of the car when we need to. All right, y'all, we're here inside our car. We just got our new uh, door handle uh, uh, installed. I want to make sure that um, I can still get out of my driver's side. I don't have to climb over to the passenger side. So let's give it a test here. Money! So we tested the handle. That opens it up. Now let's make sure our electric uh, locks here work. Oh, yeah. Y'all, this only took maybe about 30 minutes out of the day. Ordered a part off of eBay. Tested it out before we start the car up. Go to work one morning and find out it does not work. That's how we do it on the Nick Gates Show. Like, share, and subscribe. Catch you next time.